around about 107 years ago. The business was established by my great-great-grandfather. We have the most different forging materials worldwide with uh, around about 6,000 tons permanently on stock. We have over 400 different alloy grades and this diversity makes us unique and this makes us also special. We're in the aircraft industry, we do parts for the energy market, for the oil and gas industry, parts for pumping systems and also in classical engineering applications. These parts are normally high innovative parts, high risk parts. As we are driven by this innovation, we have to think about our future. We also decided then to set up this new division, Grossberg Engineering. help customers to optimize geometries for additive manufacturing for all kind of markets in the industry. In additive printing you design a geometry that fits for additive manufacturing and after that you take the powder and the fitting process parameters together in the additive printing machine and after that you have some melting processes by the laser and so you are producing a part layer by layer inside the machine. If you are a leader in a technology, this is so important then also to give our staff or our employees the best tools for working with. Simulation software, for instance, um, this is a, a typical tool for them. Uh, they work with it uh, because in the end of the day, uh, trial and error is too expensive. First of all, uh... We're starting with the designing process. How does the part look like? Where are the functional areas? How do we have to orientate it within the building chamber? And this is exactly where ANSYS additive print will come into place. It gives us an idea how the part might be deformed within the printing process. It gives us an idea how to orientate the part within the building chamber. How do the support structures actually need to look like? And Knowing all this information will definitely give us the possibility to shorten the development processes. The powder is together with the machine and the process parameters. The main reason why additive manufacturing processes are working or are not working. You can be very creative in uh, creating new alloys. I mean, even a small change for only one element can totally shift the properties of the material itself. What ANSYS can do is to simulate how the material will behave when we use it into the SLM process. Basically to do that with something very new with an alloy you haven't had done before, you need certain information and the idea of the whole cooperation is that we can provide the, the experimental data to ANSYS and ANSYS can provide us with a model where we can simulate the behavior of the parts we want to print. The philosophy of my great-great-grandfather was to get a very, very deep value added and with this collaboration with ANSYS we can give our customers a real benefit for constructing and developing parts because this technology um, gives you the possibility of uh, freedom of design.